Wow, I'll dork hammer you. This is just the hunter's blunderbuss. It's the starting one of the starting guns you can get. Not at all good if you want to invest in any blood tinge, but this is a strength character, so I just chose the one with the most stagger to it. Well, what is very well, let me So this is a new character that I've not streamed any of yet. Strength focused, I'm using the Kirk hammer for now. I'm hoping to upgrade to other things later. The last thing I did, if I recall, was kill the blood starved beast. And I'm curious that level 22 seems like a pretty good level to search for co-op here, so I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell. See if I can find anybody. Hope it doesn't boot me back to the start screen. Oops, I kind of whiffed that. The Kirk camera has this weird thing where if you don't hit head-on with it, it does, like, much reduced, like, Incidental damage? It's odd. I can't think of any other weapon that does something similar. Oh, I missed this item. Oh, I discovered the chime of a beckoning bell. I think this is a first for the stream. souls. Echoes. I'll get that right one day. Now, fighting things in co-op is a little weird. They're tougher, they do more damage, you have less health. You tend to see sides of the boss that you never do when playing alone. And parrying is difficult. Also, when they do dash attacks, they tend to warp. Can't say I'm a big fan. For the Blood Star Beast, at least for this phase of the fight, I'm going to at least... I'm going to stick with the sword form of the Kirk Hammer, mostly because I don't want to commit to any attacks that I can't get out of. Good god. As always, could use a little netcode work. Now, in my experience, it's not really worth it to try parrying in co-op because there's too big of a chance that you will simply, um, just, oh my goodness gracious, that's kind of atrocious. That whoever you're cooperating with will just kind of knock them out of the vulnerable state.
You can make up for that by... Oh god, I'm dying. Poison sucks. <laughs> I should have used that way earlier. Oh well. As long as I can still provide a distraction, then I'm being useful. around a little too much for the charge attack. Especially when he just warps. That's always a little disconcerting. Heavy weapons are not especially effective against the Bloodborne... Not the Bloodborne Beast, the Blood Starved Beast. Just because he moves so much. I mean, if you can clock him, he doesn't have a lot of endurance, so... Where'd he go? Oh, there he go. He's also weak to fire, as our friend is demonstrating. Oh, yeah. Well... Good luck, friend! That was really stupid. Did you see him move? I didn't see him move. Oh well. It's not a big deal. You don't really lose anything for dying when helping other people, and I'm pretty sure that he's got that well in hand. I would have liked to have been alive for the end of it, but we don't always get what we want in life. Actually, I sort of made an error. I should have equipped the church garb. I'll give this a couple more tries, see if we can get a success. No guarantee of that, though. It's kind of hard to survive as a cooperator. it's not impossible. I've, I've done plenty of successful helping outs. But I'm a little concerned by the Blood Starved Beast. Hopefully that guy's connection was just bad. Because I'm pretty sure what happened there was the guy has a grab attack. Of course he does. Um, most bosses do. And if you get hit by it, it sucks. The Blood Star Beast is particularly onerous because its tell is kind of subtle because it's actually him not doing anything for a little bit. 
which is like normally, yeah, okay, I'm I'm into that. I can hit him, but you can't, or you'll die. It's a little late on, like, Wednesday, so I might not get anything else. I'll give it a bit more time. I can't say I'm especially looking forward to doing the Chalice Dungeon, but, you know. It must be done. This character is sort of going to be geared especially for doing chalice, chalice dungeons. So there might be some Ludwig's Holy Blade action going on since that thing is so monstrously overpowered. Oh, good. It's Alfred. Hi, Alfred. There are actually NPC summons in this game, though they're a little... odd. Hopefully, Alfred is durable, because he doesn't seem to actually be dodging things. I was hoping that would stagger him, but no such luck. Super armor. I think he's probably more difficult to stagger since there's three of us. Don't break lock, please. Need. Careful, friend. Ugh. It's difficult to respond to that kind of attack, to be perfectly honest. Alright, I should cover the Beckoner if I can. Alright, Beckoner has been covered. I think Alfred is down. We should be able to handle this from here. Whoa, where'd he go? should have parried him. There's some oddness going on with the...
Don't want to die. I hope this cures me when I get back to my world. It probably won't. <laughs> Oh, at least... Oh god, it actually reset the meter. That's kind of dumb. Oh well. I might help out some more later, but... I think for now I'm going to do what I advertised I was going to do and look at a chalice dungeon. The 3,000 or so souls we got from helping out was probably not worth the expenditure of blood vials and bullets, but... That's just kind of how it goes in Bloodborne. You gotta be prepared to sacrifice some stuff if you want to help. I don't mind, really. Alrighty. Let's make a Chalice Dungeon. The only chalice we have right now is the Thumeru chalice, so we gotta use that. Fortunately, we also have the necessary ritual blood. And there we are. All right, here we are in the Thumerian Labyrinth. Now, well, the sort of touted feature of the chalice dungeons is that they're randomly generated. That's only true for root chalices, which we don't have one of yet. We have to clear out at least a couple static dungeons before we can actually do anything randomly generated. I would say that it is a fair assessment that the chalice dungeons are a good deal harder asshole, than the equivalent parts of the game in which they are accessible. It's more or less bonus content. So I would not really recommend throwing yourself at it, especially if you're having trouble. Actually, I don't really need the extra poison resist, so...
Now, while we are familiar with the Chime Maidens from our exploits in the Unseen Village on our other character, we are not actually... This is much earlier than you would normally encounter them, and they're a real pain in the butt. There's also these big fellas. They're called... Ow. Watchers. Just when I said we wouldn't need poison resistance too. for the most part aren't too tough. They usually guard important parts of the labyrinth. For instance, the levers that unlock the way forward. These Sentence Fortress-esque traps are not actually too dangerous, though they do get a bit more difficult later. Chalice Dungeons usually have a bunch of side paths and stuff you can take advantage of. There's even some Snatchers in here. As far as I'm aware, if you die to them in a Chalice Dungeon, you do not get taken to the Unseen Village. It wouldn't even really be much of a skip anyway, since the Snatcher is only ever sh showing up after you've beaten the Blood Star Beast, which is how you get this chalice in the first place. With large numbers of rats, it's usually a pretty good strategy just to wait in. They have large hitboxes and pretty much no poise. So if you just sort of start attacking at the mob, you'll probably stun most of them before they really have a chance to retaliate. Now, I know for a fact that we've cleared out this floor, or at least I think I do. <laughs> I don't want to say anything I, I'll regret later. Alright, I guessed wrong. It's sort of noxious on this floor because you can't really tell which is the side that you open the door on. When you do open a door to progress, 
the lights turn light blue instead of purple. Alright, time for the first Chalice Dungeon boss, the Undead Giant. Quite frankly, this is a really hard fight, especially if you take it on more or less when the game seems to intend you to. As you can see, two attacks nearly just killed me. And he has no shortage of ways to close the distance. So his nominal weakness of being slow is sort of negated. Probably only throw the Molotov when you're sure he's doing something. I find Molotovs to be the most effective way to deal with him. But he is a customer. And I sort of forget how to fight him correctly, so this might this might take me a while to sort of feel out. I hate it when he starts the fight out like that. It's kind of unfair. And then he just spams it. What the? Please calm down. attack. I also hate that it counts that you're doing a transform attack if you just transform after you dodge. This one's going to take a little while. I just need to get back into the rhythm of it. You fight the stupid guy enough times. Yeah, this is a chalice dungeon, all right.
think I'm gonna have to stick with the sword mode. The hammer mode is just too slow. Way too much chance to get counterattacked. Just kill him with bug bites, I guess. Or do that. He's more or less unstaggerable, so gun parrying won't do anything. Now, he does have a weakness. That sort of weird growth on his leg, if you shatter that, he takes a bunch of damage. slow and steady wins the race kind of fight. You don't even really have enough time for a charge attack. Even getting winged is deadly. I'm not anywhere near there, fella. That was a preposterously bad throw. Preposterously bad dodge. Sorry, this fight's kind of boring. He's dead. He can be a bit of a roadblock in your adventures. If you come to him right after defeating the Blood Star Beast, like you probably will, since you got a cool new thing.
then you will probably have some issues. You always want to take note of where the exit door is. You never know when you want to beat a hasty retreat. Jackass. That was a trap of some description. I like the I like the noises these guys make. <laughs> Oh good, one of my notes was rated fine. The guys tossing poison daggers in the corners are real jerks, to be honest. Probably should have put the church guard back on, but I'm lazy. I don't really like the way it looks, either. I had a torch equipped for a minute. Generally speaking, you should investigate where the red tinged enemies are coming for first. Because that's usually where the Chime Maiden is going to be. And you want to take them out as quickly as humanly possible. Oh god, it's one of these fuckers. Hello! Watch me take on the amazing rolling baby. Alright, so this guy is more or less designed to punish parry fishers. He's an enormous jackass. You just need to take them on with the right mindset. Because it's like, when you're playing through this for the first time, your first instinct is probably going to be, oh, it's a big guy, I should gun parry. But if you do that with this guy, you're probably going to get owned. You might still get owned. Ow. I'm sorry, it was the baby. It was the huge, stupid, fat baby that rolls around and has a really shiny ass for some reason. Watchers are weird. Now, the nice thing about Chalice Dungeons is, is that once you pull that lever, the exit is unlocked for good. So we could leave and come back without any penalty. Now 
need all those we can get our hands on. Once I'm done exploring, I'm probably going to avail myself of the ability to leave and come freely, because I'm... Seven blood vials is not nearly enough. I should have seen that coming. I completely forgot about that trap and I got demolished. So, randomization in chalice dungeons. I gotta stop running into that. The only randomization appears in the root chalices, and I have not had enough experience with those to say for certain one way or another if they're very random or not. I think they're pretty random. I know it's where you go to get the best loot. Alright, this time I'm coming prepared. And I will not step on the forbidden zone, which I think is just the pad in the middle. Hello, Mr. Snatcher. Please do your handy thing. Thank you. Yes, yes, it's very tragic that you died. Maybe don't do the handy thing next time. Ritual blood. We'll need that later. I stepped on the Forbidden Zone! That went better. Alright, now for the boss, which I will foolhardily, foolhardily take on. This fight is a triple threat. Basically, the idea is hit and run. Try not to get clocked by blunderbuss fire. 
Easier said than done, really. Basically, they don't want to come downstairs. So, you want to take advantage of this reluctance and cordon them off as much as you can. Now, easier said than done a lot of the time. The pillar is important cover from getting shot. Sufficiently get one's attention, you can get them down here. However, fighting them on the steps is not necessarily a good idea. They, they leave themselves open to visceral attacks when they attack, but the problem is trying to do that on steps is sort of an exercise in randomness. He just punched me with a lantern. Who does that? I think he just punched me with bullet. When there's only two of them, things get easier. Sometimes, though, you need to retreat to the stairs and take stock. But the blunderbuss guy is the real fucker here. I would recommend taking him out first, but that's sort of not a thing you can really do. And if my gun did that much damage, you'd be in trouble. I have found that a fairly effective strategy here is to sort of pop up and down the different sets of stairs to try and separate them a little. And then, you know, just get popped in the face. Printing seems to help. I hate this guy. And it's like you can't even really chain hits on him because pretty much halfway through, he'll just hit you in the face with his frickin' lamp. his melee weapon, things get a lot easier. I say as I get hit in the face. It's preferable. This fight is more boring than difficult, to be honest. Alright. 
with just the chieftain left, this fight becomes much, 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 much easier. Can you see why? Defeating them yields the Fumero Root Chalice. I should probably go back and restock on vials. This place is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, I'm gonna go restock on vials. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that the mod that the watchers were merciless. It's just they weren't very good. unfortunate thing about doing the chalice dungeons early is that they don't give nearly enough echoes to really cover the expenditure of the resources you're putting into it. Now, the great thing about doing Chalice Dungeons early is that you get really, really good blood gems. At least, comparative to the time that you would get them in the main game. Welcome, what is very well, let me. Oh, what? No, I don't want to do that. I want to go to layer three. <laughs> Cease this foolishness. I think it's real fucked up that enemies get ladder invincibility animations when we do not. Many is the time I've come up a ladder and immediately gotten clocked. Whoop. 
this rather expansive underground garden is the site of a fairly fearsome battle. You really need to take out the Chime Maiden as quickly as you possibly can or you will get overwhelmed. You might do that anyway, because you're bad. You also want to take out this guy. He has a cannon. Now, if only I could turn this around slightly and use it on that monstrosity over there. No such luck. Those are basically loot monsters. It's sort of weird. You'll find them tromping around and they just drop a lot of blood vials or a lot of bullets. Who knows? Nobody. You can occasionally see little messengers pop up with lights for you. Always helpful. This Watcher variety has a red-hot poker. It also has a very generous visceral attack timing. Almost too generous. Basically, you can wait out, out of range of that attack that they like to use, or they stick it out for a minute. And then you can just get an easy stun and do some pretty darn good damage. It almost seems like an oversight that they're that vulnerable to parries. But I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. We're not done just yet, though. It's one thing to unlock the, bo the door to the boss, but it's another to fully explore the, explore the floor. I thought that was an item. I'm smart. If you explore the floor, you might just get treasure. Tomb mold. Lovely. Maybe the chest was empty and it was just growing on the inside and... By gosh, we're not... I'm getting tired of these forbidden zones. Always watch your step. We are now on the very tip-top of the main area. Ooh. 
it's a bit expansive. There must be something up here. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a dude up here. There's also a shortcut of sorts. I'm not really sure that this area is large enough to be needing of one, but, you know. There's another one over here. I believe that's where we popped out. That's some rude shit. Hello. Usually they drop chunks, but... I'm, I'm sorry, not chunks. Upgrade material. But I suppose with this one we got a little lucky and got a gemstone. I don't really have the proper weaponry to take those things on right now. It's not impossible, but it's probably a good deal more obnoxious than I really need to be dealing with. I'm mostly just looking for more items on the ground floor, and then we can move on. No items, but a snatcher. I suppose I can deal with him easily enough. Oh, there's an item down there. I will get it shortly. Bolt paper is always useful. Alright, since everything else is more or less cleared out, I suppose I can at least try to take one of these out. They take massively reduced damage if you attack their bodies. Fortunately, one at a time, I have enough time to charge up an attack and sort of bust through that. They drop Arcane Haze, which will become necessary quite a bit later. Might as well collect some now while we're here, I guess. Their weak points are their heads, and if you have a good gun, you can actually kill them pretty easily if you just shoot the head. Those of us that skimped on the blood tinge, or took a blunderbuss, will instead have to rely on some brute force. I'm not quite sure how that missed, to be perfectly honest. But, well, at any rate, I'm pretty sure that's the place cleaned out. All that's left is the boss man.
chalice dungeons are also a great way to get insight if you feel that you need it. Sometimes there will be side paths outside the main dungeon. They usually have some pretty good stuff in them. Make up my mind. More bolt paper. I'll take that. Hum, hum, hum. Now I have been through several Chalice Dungeons before on different characters, though I don't have perfect memory of each of them. So I apologize if we perhaps take some unnecessary detours. Oh, good. He's got a blunderbuss. Fortunately, on his own, he is a significantly easier opponent. Clonk. Ooh, fancy. More special blood. That blood is necessary for more chalice rituals. Surprise, surprise. It's sort of a big long line of unlocking things. Yes, that's the way we came. Now be wary. 
these statues of what appear to be messengers are actually traps. They usually have an associated pressure plate, such as this one, that will have them fire off fire arrows. Generally speaking, once you know that they're there and serve that purpose, you won't get caught by them. And this room was perfectly pointless. Enough dilly dallying. It is time to fight. This is the watchdog of the old lords. The watchdog of the old lords is a fiery beast. And he has a charge attack that he really likes. His primary attacks are just sort of spitting fire. He also likes to bite. He is probably at his weakest to the sides, but that doesn't mean he's defenseless. When he sort of does that weird motion, that means he's quite vulnerable to getting clocked. Though that time he didn't stagger, which is a little obnoxious. his most dangerous move is that charge. He can seemingly do it at any distance, and it is incredibly difficult to avoid at close range. This is a fight of patience, as are a lot of fights in this game. You're going to want to keep yourself topped off as much as possible, because like I said, that charge hurts and it's hard to avoid. If you do enough damage to his head, his mask armor will sort of break, and he'll be more vulnerable. However, he can regenerate his armor with that attack, so he's only vulnerable for so long. I got a pretty good hit on him, though, so I'm satisfied. I 
I think, like, legitimately his charge tell bug, well, not tell, but, like, when he should do the attack, I think that sort of bugged. I wasn't even anywhere near his front, and he still did it. It's just sort of like, are you too close in my grill? If yes, charge. Or too far away. attack is obnoxious, because once you get clipped once, you're probably going to get clipped a dozen times. But, he's dead. Our reward is a quite frankly insultingly low amount of blood echoes in the central Temeru Chalice. I am rather pleased at myself that I got that one shot. It's not a hard, it's not a, it's not an easy boss. Though there's an even stronger version later that I've heard horror stories about. As usual, I want to check my blood gems and see if I've gotten anything better. Doesn't look like it. It'd be nice if I could get something to fill that tranquil slot. Now that we have another chalice, we can do another chalice ritual. The Central Tumero Chalice is something that we can do. And that's probably a bit above our pay grade. But let's explore a little bit anyway. See what we can accomplish, if anything. Mural. The enemies here are a little bit tougher. We're still in manageable territory, but... Won't stay that way forever. At very least, the Chime Maiden is in plain sight. Oop. Though we actually want to take out the Molotov Tosser first. Alright, she shouldn't give us any more trouble. Molotov tosser, though, he will. Not only does he hurt, he makes things hard to see. And that is an even graver sin.
doof. There we go. Should always bring a torch along. Never know when you'll need a little bit of light. Ooh. Never know when somebody's gonna start chucking poison at you. Poison seems to reduce your rally potential by quite a bit. At least it seems that way to me. It's a bag man. Bag man is very observant. I jumped the gun a little bit on that one because I wasn't at full health and I got nervous. Now that he's powered up, I'm pretty scared of this guy. Not that scared. Why are there dogs down here? I'd rather fight another big fiery one than you guys. Alright, he doesn't have a blunderbuss. He shouldn't give me too much trouble. Still, the increasing HP totals are starting to get quite noticeable. Also, the increasing damage. That one hurt. Two visceral attacks, and this guy isn't even dead yet. Getting to the point where we're probably going to need to come back later. The boss is now available, but we're not nearly done exploring yet, and that's the important thing to do.
treasure. More ritual blood. No, I think this is... Yep! This is where we started. I will take a quick peek around to see if there's any paths we missed. Don't believe we did. Everything appears to be pretty fucking dead. Yeah, I think we're good. Molotovs aren't really that big of a deal, but nothing's cheaper than free. Let's see what boss is awaiting us. The beast possessed soul. It's a dog with fire and hurts. Calm down, buddy. Indecisive. I'm gonna try to get him away from the walls because I need some room to dodge backwards. Let's fight in the center. Uh, hmm. Not sure if I'm gonna. I'm gonna win this one. We'll just have to see. If I can get that timing down consistently, then I have a chance. But if I just waste bullets like that, then I don't. And if, you know, visceral attacks just don't go off, that's also a problem. rally system, I can trade pretty effectively that way. I think I might have made him mad. I need some blood bullets. I admit, I think it's probably a weakness of my playstyle that I so readily default to just 
fishing for parries. But it's something I'm kind of okay at, so... Might as well do what works, right? Can't do that now. Jesus, that hurt. Probably gonna have to avoid going any deeper after we beat this guy. There we go. Got him. Oh, uh, which way is the way out? All right, I think what I'll do is I will try one going down a little bit deeper, seeing how things go. And if they go poorly, then I will probably break. Sooner or later, I'm going to run up against a wall in the Talus Dungeons that my plus three weapon will not be able to break down. But until that time comes, onwards. All right, these fuckers. Weak to fire and not much else, if I recall. Yeah. Mm. She either brings some Molotovs or some fire paper. The torch works okay-ish. But the problem is that they are quite a bit faster and have longer reach. They can also inflict deadly poisoning, so that's not very good.
Oh! I've been gooed! Gosh. I'm just... Oh, I can't actually wield that. Never mind. I completely forgot about that there. I... I would say I need to pay more attention, but I'm not sure attention is really part of the equation. I just need to know it's there. Gross, Lord. Thrust damage isn't effective. Strike damage isn't effective. These guys must be weak to something. I just don't know what. That's a little better. Noxious little shithead. I'll take those, thank you. And you'll do your stupid death attack. And I will attempt to be cagey. we go. Wait a minute. I'm not continuing on without an eye glued to the ceiling. They say that playtesters never look up. I can sort of see why. Usually all there is when you look up is some sort of obnoxious trap, because it's common knowledge that playtesters never look up. I hear a doog. Show yourself. Mm. 
And there's honestly a lot going on in this room in terms of sound. One thing at a time. That guy's a menace. Then again, so is this guy. Holy shit. Should have stocked up on antidotes while I was back in the dream. I was almost going to say town. A town isn't really a town if it's only got one building. Oh well, the danger is past. Time to loot. Need those. I found the source of the dog. The source of the dog has found me! This has gone poorly. Mistakes have been made. Hey, friends. Not so tough now, huh? See? No iframes. This game is stupid. Oh, hello. You're not very smart. Slightly the wrong target. Why can't I get? 
get any crescents. Ah, the Hinter Tomb Chalice. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. As opposed to simply unlocking a different layer, that one will actually take us to an entirely different dungeon. One I have never been. How exciting! being a way up here. I just can't quite remember where it is. It'll come to me. Or I'll find it. Either or. There. Goodness, no. Uh, there might have been a lever by the slide. I might have been too tired to see it. I'll take a look, see. Oh, right, it's this thingy. The way is clear. The way is clear to nothing. I have heard that there are illusionary walls in the chalice dungeons, and you activate them by hitting. But probably not here. Oh well.
We got the important thing, the chalice. They're tossing poison. I've had enough of that. Hopefully this will give me at least a little bit of leeway. Wide variety of ways to go here. Oh, it's this idiot. I hate this guy, by the way. Fire really, really hurts. Oh, and there's also a bag man. Hello. As long as they can't one-shot me, that strategy will continue to be effective. They probably won't be able to one-shot me. Oh, it's another one. I don't have that many bullets. You can take advantage of their power up time. It's fairly distinct when they do it, and they tend not to retaliate. For a while, anyway. 
then they do retaliate and it hurts a lot.